Welcome everybody, my name is Katie and I'm really excited to do a super fun project with you today. Um, we've got a lot of great materials to work with and I hope you will stick it through and join me. So what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be making a collage. What is a collage you ask? Well, I will tell you. So a collage is when you take usually paper, um, but sometimes, you know, well, different kinds of material, you can really use whatever you want. You can use scraps of newspaper, maybe magazines, um, construction paper. Think about stuff you, you might just throw in the recycling bin. Well, with a collage, you can cut it up, cut up the paper, you can rip it and paste it down, layer it on top of each other to make your own art. And you can see this is all made out of recycled materials. So this is this is one that I did and we're gonna do our own version. So, a couple things to think about when you're thinking about collage. The things I always think about are three things. I think about color and I think about texture and I think about pattern. First thing, what is texture? Because texture is a huge part of, for me at least, making a collage. So let me show you. So. When you think about this piece of foil here, how do you think it would feel? Probably pretty smooth, right? Well, what do you think would happen if I crumpled it up? I'm gonna crumple it up. You see how immediately I changed the texture? Now it's not gonna be very smooth anymore. It's all bumpy and crinkly. So I changed the texture. Bubble wrap. How do you think that would feel? Well, it's got a nice kind of bumpy texture, okay? Wax paper, smooth. So, texture, that's texture. And what is pattern? Well, pattern in art is when you see repeating shapes in a design. So when I was walking around the house, I came across a lot of fun patterns. And maybe when you're walking around your house looking for materials, you can look for patterns too that you can use in your collage. We're gonna be using glue. So, uh, any kind of glue really will do. Elmer's glue, uh, glue stick, any kind of glue you've got, that'll work. Uh, scissors, you can use scissors to cut, but you can also rip. I like ripping a lot when I make a collage. And you also need the surface to work with. So, you could use paper, but if you want it to be a little bit more sturdy, then I might suggest just grabbing a piece, an old piece of car cardboard you've got lying around, okay? So maybe here's a, there's an old box, rip it up and get a nice rectangular surface, okay? The other thing that you wanna do, so you've got your supplies, then you need all your collage material. All right, so I've got my empty box here and maybe you have an empty box or a bag or something that you can put all your fun collage stuff in. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on a treasure hunt around this room here. And we're gonna see how many different things we can find to put inside of our collage. All right, you ready? Let's go. All right. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. There's a cardboard box. Hmm, what could I do with that? I'm gonna just see if I can rip it. Make sure to ask your parents if you can use these things for your art. All right, I got my cardboard surface. I think I use this for my surface. All right, so I got that. I'm gonna put that right here. Now, let's see what else we can find in this room. Maybe you can look in your whole house. Just search around, and see what you can find to add to your art.
ahead, I would say press pause for a minute. Go ahead and go on a little scavenger hunt around your house. Um, see what kind of treasures you can find. All kinds of stuff, foil, wax paper, newspaper, anything. Grab a pile of it and we'll meet back and we'll start our collage. All right, so did you find some cool stuff? Let's see, let's see what I found. I found some pretty cool stuff. Got some pieces of an old map, cotton, a mesh bag, old rope. What else is in my little treasure box? Lots of fun junk. So let's go ahead and put it all together. Right, so when I'm doing a collage on cardboard, you see how there's that really thin kind of top layer of the cardboard, that really thin paper? Sometimes if you peel that away, you get a nice texture underneath. And that's what I'm gonna do here. Got a nice texture underneath. You see those little lines that pop up? And this just makes it a little bit more interesting of a surface to work with. If you look on the side, what I have is a bunch of scraps, all the different things I collected. I have fabric, I have paper, I have all sorts of fun things. And what I've done before gluing them down is I've ripped them up, I've cut them up, so they're all a bunch of little pieces to work with. And then I can kind of start puzzling them together and gluing them down. Now, a lot of times when you're doing a collage, you might wanna start just arranging all the pieces on your page first. So before even gluing anything down, you can arrange them, you can put one you know, on one side and then move it around almost like a puzzle until you, you see how you like it best in terms of the colors, the textures, the patterns. So I might suggest that before you even glue, just arrange it as many times as you want until you, you like the way it looks and you're ready to glue down. Another thing I like to do when I'm doing a collage is rather than cutting, I like to rip the pieces. So if I have a lot of different types of paper, even fabric, I like to see if I can rip it. And the reason I like to rip it is that it gives the edges a softness and it helps blend all the different textures and colors and patterns from all these different materials. Um, it helps them blend all together by their soft edges, almost like a painting. The other thing I like to do is overlap them, put one on top of another, um, and this also helps blend them together instead of putting them side by side. Another thing I love about collage is that it's a great way to express yourself however you want. Sometimes when I can't figure out what to draw or paint, I do a collage because it helps release tension and it's also a great way of inspiring new ideas. If you'd like to see more examples of collages from well-known artists, you can go to lacma.org, click on art, and then scroll down to collections and type in the word collage. You'll see a lot of different artists that combine all sorts of different materials. You can mix together scraps of paper, found objects, paintings, photographs, really anything you desire. I hope you're making a collage too right now and I wonder what yours is looking like. What colors and materials did you find around the house? What do the colors and materials say about you and your artistic interests? Do you prefer to cut your collage materials into shapes that you recognize or rip them up into irregular shapes, otherwise known as organic shapes? You can see here I'm ripping them up into organic shapes. Organic shapes are shapes that you might see in nature like leaves or flowers or clouds. They tend to have curved edges rather than straight lines and sharp angles like squares or rectangles. Those types of shapes are called geometric shapes. At any time during this video, feel free to press pause and look around your house a little more to see what else you can find. I actually went outside for a minute and I found a leaf that I think I'm gonna add. Oftentimes when I'm in the process of making a collage, I'll get new ideas for different materials. So I'll just put pause on my process and run out and go find some more stuff to add. While you're making your collage, see if you can say the word collage out loud. Collage. The word is spelled C-O-L-L-A-G-E. But notice the G sound sounds like J. This word collage actually comes from a French phrase that means to glue. As you can see, we're using a lot of glue in this process, so that makes sense, right? Alright, just finishing up and I think we are finished. 
finished. All right, so here is my finished collage and I would love to see yours as well. So uh, please share your art with us at uh, LACMA Connected on Instagram. We'd love to see your process, the materials you chose, and your, your finished collage. It's been so much fun making art with you, and please stay safe and keep making art, and we'll see you next time.